In this tutorial, I'll be going over the new geometric track system and how to set it up. So here's my model. It's the A34 Comet. And right now I'm just going to hide all the parts that I don't need. After you've got this done, you can set up the Bezier curve. It doesn't really matter which rotation it is as long as the curve itself is going counterclockwise. This one's just a quick build on how to do it. You can connect the curve by clicking on toggle C click. And to switch directions, go to Segments, and hit Switch Direction. Now it's going counterclockwise. This one's one I made earlier, which goes to the form of the track. So once you've got your curve done, it's time to create the track. It's best to have your all your wheels and stuff on one side so that it's not obstructing the track. It doesn't really matter, it's just personal preference. So here I have a track link already done. Try not to make it too high poly or also just it adds up a lot. <laughs> so you just take a cube, extrude it a bit, do whatever, add bits and pieces there. Make sure that it's not smooth shade, shaded or edge splitted and you can add your array and curve modifier. Make sure the curve modifier comes after the array modifier and you can set whatever curve you have. Using the array modifier is for the track position itself segments determines how much links there are. Make sure to keep track of how much links you have as I do right here and also the distance which I'm not entirely sure if it matters at the moment but I just keep it there in case. So now go into ortho mode and make sure that the track links up. If you need to adjust it just adjust the mesh itself until it lines up. Once you have that, it should line up with the wheels of your track system and you can apply both modifiers. Make sure to delete the Bezier curve after you apply the modifiers or it will mess up the actual curve. To set up the actual suspension, you have to go into pose mode for your armature, set it for the track itself, and then go into weight mode. In this mode you can adjust how much weight is applied, the radius of the selection circle, and how strong it is. In order to apply weight for a single bone, just hover over the bone and shift right click or left click depending on what your select button is.
how I weigh my track lengths is I hover over where the wheel is and then just click until the middle part of it is red. At the moment, it doesn't really have much influence, just 100%, but once you start filling in the rest, it will act smoothly. In my opinion, it's best to use 100 w weight and 100 strength, just depending on the radius circle. And as you can see here, it starts to flow better. The way I determine the radius of the circle is by looking at the two points of the other wheels on either side. The road wheels are probably the easiest ones to set up. It gets harder at the ends, but it's pretty much the same process. The tracks, on the other hand, are a bit more complicated, but have the similar idea. You don't have to weigh anything else, you can just go back into edit mode, select the top vertices, and assign them, like so. So now the track should flow nicely when you lift the bones up or influence them. And you're done modeling the track itself. Now you can just save it and close it. In Unity, you have to add the geometry track script and set the properties. This is where the track links useful. You have to keep track of them for generating the mesh. Now, it may not work and you will get an error. Usually this error says the vertices don't match up or anything. So you had to go back into bl Blender, select all the vertices in the track, smooth them, and the, or which is optional, or you or you can just apply an edge split modifier. After doing so, save and it should fix it. As you can see, it's now loading. The load time takes quite a bit depending on how much links you have. And once it's done loading, a new thing will pop up in the skinned mesh renderer. If you just scroll next, you should see the tracks move counterclockwise in this perspective. Make sure you only made one track because if you make multiple tracks and then add a ge geometry track script for the other one, it will not work properly. The generated track will interfere with the first one and 
not render one of the two in game. The best way to, or the only way to counter it, is just by creating, just copying over the first track. It's easier if you just make a symmetrical track so you don't need to worry about mirroring the track itself. So once you transfer it, just transfer back all the wheels and stuff and set the bones. After you've done all that, it's complete. And now you can test it in Blender itself, or not Blender, you can test it in game and make sure that no problems occur. Make sure not to delete the file for the bl generated blend. I usually just keep it in a folder. The reason why I do this is because if you delete it, it will not render the track properly in game. And as you can see, it works just fine. Hopefully, this tutorial helped, and comment down below if you have any problems or ask on the Steam Guide. And that's how you make geometric tank tracks.